While grocery shopping at Walmart in 2012, Wilkinson used a motorized scooter to navigate the store's aisles. As she reached the soda section and leaned over to pick up a box, she unfortunately fell out of the scooter. A group of young girls witnessed Wilkinson's fall and took a picture of her, which later went viral after being shared on Inger in 2013. The image circulated and rate my job were mocked Wilkinson. After enduring ridicule, Wilkinson decided to respond in January 2017. She chose Cora, a question and answer, to share her side of the story. Prompted by a question about her 15 minutes of fame, Wilkinson recounted the incident at Walmart and addressed the jokes made at her expense. With the prominently displayed at the top, Wilkinson shared her story. She acknowledged the widespread circulation like people of Walmart describing it as her 15 minutes of fame. Wilkinson expressed frustration over the misconceptions surrounding the photo, particularly the assumption that she tipped over the cart out of laziness. She revealed that she suffers from spondylolisthesis, a condition where a vertebra slips forward, causing back and leg pain. This condition severely affects her legs, making it difficult for her to stand for extended periods. In addition to spondylolisthesis, Wilkinson candidly admitted to being obese, which exacerbates her back issues. She shared that she uses eating as a coping mechanism for her mental illness, leading to a constant battle with her weight. Despite joining a gym and actively working on her weight, it remains a significant challenge for her. After providing context to her medical and mental health struggles, Wilkinson reflected on the moment, captured in a photograph that changed her life. Wilkinson recounted that on the day of the incident at Walmart, she was feeling down and experiencing back pain from her spondylolisthesis. Despite this, she went to the store and began grocery shopping with a cart. Upon reaching the soda aisle, she spotted a case of soda for her husband and attempted to retrieve it from the shelf, causing the cart to tip over. She recalled hearing giggling from some young girls nearby, but brushed it off as nothing new. However, her attitude changed drastically after, and she was inundated with hurtful. Shocked by the online ridicule, Wilkinson decided to take a stand for herself and others who had been similarly mocked. Wilkinson highlighted the importance of not laughing at people with disabilities, emphasizing that her disabilities, though not visible, are real. She urged people to consider the struggles individuals face before making fun of them, stating that it is never harmless to mock someone. Wilkinson's was picked up by several news outlets, turning her response into another sensation. Her words resonated widely, sparking a conversation about empathy and understanding for those facing challenges that may not be immediately apparent. Today featured Wilkinson's words in their entirety, while The Sun also shared her response. As her gained traction, Wilkinson delved into more sensitive topics, particularly regarding her physical and mental health. Wilkinson explained that her obesity is a result of her American diet and mental illnesses, including major depressive disorder, PTSD, and avoidant personality disorder. She revealed that she has used food as a coping mechanism for the emotional trauma she has experienced. Reflecting on the day of the incident at Walmart, Wilkinson addressed the negative assumptions made about her since the photo went viral. She refuted claims that her weight was due to laziness or a desire to be on disability welfare, emphasizing that obese individuals are often dehumanized and ridiculed. While Wilkinson acknowledged that obesity is a serious health issue, she clarified that she was not seeking pity or condoning obesity. She simply wanted to raise awareness that obese individuals are also human beings deserving of respect. Wilkinson emphasized, what I want is compassion, understanding, and respect as a fellow human being. I am a person. Please treat me like one. In an era where internet trolls and anonymous critics abound, this request shouldn't be considered unreasonable.